Hey Lynx, I saw your video today about um, starting your career over at 26. And honestly, I feel like it's not fully a start over because you're taking, you have resources that you didn't have the first time around. You have the wealth of that whole era that you spend under Sarah Kendall that, um, you know, is years of experience. Sorry, I keep forgetting about the cutaways. It's a mess. I'm not good at decorum. Like for me, I often remind myself that with being 23, which is what I am, as opposed to 26, I guess I'm a bit lucky then. Um, with being 23, I find that things stabilize. You learn who you are and you find means to organize that and organize that based on the strengths you have. Like, you're looking to conquer the world in your own aspect. You're not looking to be every, you know, Greek myth or whatnot, you know, that you could possibly be. You're just looking to get by and get known and get respected. And to, you know, make yourself feel good about what you've done, you know? I have a past. I've had a lot of things happen in my life. Um, some things of my fault, some things of circumstance. Some things both. The worst are things of both, I suppose. And I'm a bit exhausted because I actually tried to make this video just before. And it was a bit chaotic. It's a lot to talk about. Um, and I don't think I'll get into it right now as far as the past goes. But I know that building social capital building a fan base, building an image, building a media presence or a presence of your own media. It takes time, energy, investment, consistency, and it's a constant balancing act. But, I know that life goes on, that I can't be so high strung about, oh, what What if I didn't do that? You know, what if I didn't delete my social media accounts a year and a half ago and just stayed with the same ones? I probably have 1,500 followers, if not more right now. You know, I might have more, you know, deals of, from like producers and like, you know, modeling companies. like stuff that I can't do on my own, you know, but I've also hustled since then, like, you know, I've, I hustled back then, but I also hustled since then, like, um, you know, getting a portfolio and, you know, all these things. Once again, I wait too long with the cutaways. Oh, well, like, it can be hard when not everyone is at your feet yet, you know? I mean, goodness, is that what we as artists expect to happen? Like, we expect people to just kneel at some point and then we will have made it. Are we able to just recognize us as like these superior, super semi-superior demigods that are just like you, but also just that much more actualized and that much more mystical, you know? And then we'll be happy because we'll be legends. It's ridiculous and also kind of cool, but ridiculous. Like, I just want to eat. I just want to be heard and I just want to create. I just want to be respected and loved and treasured by some. And I know that, you know, maybe if I were some wunderkind at 16, wunderkind, wunderkind at 16, 
you know, maybe things would be different. But at the same time, you know, if I wasn't an attractive woman at 16, I was male. So there's that. Things work out differently. And yes, definitely, as a female, there are different standards of like, you know, suddenly you need to be this sexually fertile and sexually potent person. That's, it was an emblem of feminine sensuality. And, um, or even just sensuality. And it's cool. I get why it's there. I get its biological ethos. But it also puts on a lot of pressure. It's my brother. I can tell by the steps. Um, like I can revel in that, but I'm also getting old. Am I, though? Am I? If I were someone who, you know, menstruated, I'd probably have, like, 25 to 30 years left of fertility. Or I 26, pretty much the same. And, um... Twenty-two to twenty-seven. I don't know. And um, I know that it's about being present, having a presence, being able to connect. If you can't do that, get out of this business. But most people can connect. Going back to the Wunderkind thing, though. And yes, I'm standing up again. Like, I barely knew myself and barely was myself at that age. So like, even though I was writing a lot, the modes have changed a lot in how I present myself, how I, you know, express myself, how people see me, what references they use, what other references I use. Gender plays a lot in those things. And um, had I known more about who I'd be, and maybe I would have acted differently. Things are very difficult for everyone. And don't you forget it. Because you've got this. If you need to sit, sit. If you need to shake, shake. If you need to work, work. One day I'm down, the next day I'm up again. Seems like sometimes my moods are my only friends. Feel myself again, then I'm falling down. that I only win the third time around Cause I've ruined everything I've ruined everything And I'll take my ruin And build a castle of sand You can take me as I am 